Hello. It is Tuesday of the second week of Easter time, and I'd like to share with you today the readings from today's Mass. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives, when it is fully revealed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns and with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole group of believers was united, heart and soul. No one claimed for his own use anything that he had, as everything they owned was held in common. The apostles continued to testify up to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus with great power, and they were all given great respect. None of their members was ever in want, as all those who owned land or houses would sell them and bring the money from them to present it to the apostles. It was then distributed to any member who might be in need. There was a Levite of Cypriot origin called Joseph, whom the apostles surnamed Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. He owned a piece of land and he sold it and brought the money and presented it to the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's Gospel is from the Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Do not be surprised when I say, You must be born from above. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. That is how it is. And all who are born of the Spirit how can that be possible? asked Nicodemus. You, a teacher of Israel, and you do not know these things, replied Jesus. I tell you most solemnly, we speak only about what we know, and witness only to what we have seen. And yet you people reject our evidence. If you do not believe me when I speak about things in this world, how are you going to believe me when I speak to you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who came down from heaven, the Son of Man who is in heaven. And the Son of Man must be lifted up, as Moses lifted up the serpents in the desert, so that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Son of Man must be lifted up, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. Do you believe? With well, a lot of our readings just recently are all about faith and believing. Jesus was preaching to the people and they're having lots of difficulty and understanding and believing. And probably one of the best and difficult was when he said you shall eat my body and drink my blood so very difficult and a lot of people could not accept it and walked away our first reading from the acts of the apostles we're talking about the group of believers 
Some people might say that's a bit of a pipe dream, where everything was held in common. Very difficult for people these days. It is almost like the communist ideal that things are in common. But of course, the human element comes into it. People wanting more, more possessions. If only we could live this way now. But we must, must try. It only takes one person to start. And like a ripple in the ocean, it'll go out more and more and more. It's encouraging us Christians to be charitable to our neighbours, those in need. in all its shapes and forms. I'm not just talking about financial needs, but also spiritual needs. There are many out there who need to see the love of God by actions and words and encouragement. Remember to pray for your neighbours and pray for those who are near you and for those who are far off. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord uncover his face to you and bring you peace. And the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God. And of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty. The Father, the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Be among with you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace. To love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen.